YouTube. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about curtains. I want three curtains, one for this window, one across the cab to separate the cab from the camper, and one across the sliding door covering the window in that, and stopping some of the drafts which you always get with sliding doors. See this? This is a curtain rail. Now I did make a whole video of me installing these, but I don't like it, and it's cheap and it doesn't. It looks crap, so I'm going to replace it. I'll show you what I've done above this door. So you see a lot of copper pipe work in a lot of vans now. So that's what I've that's kind of given me the idea for a curtain rail. So that's uh, that's gonna be a curtain rail, yeah. Out made out of copper pipe. So I will replace this cheapo nasty nasty one with the same I think. Copper pipe. Elbows with solder, make a perfect curtain rail. So that's what I'm measuring up here. Of course, I don't have a pipe. I don't have a pipe cutter. Okay, so this is what you want to make. I'm going to heat this up in a minute so the solder makes it all stick. But yeah, these two, these two uprights are going to. I'm going to drill a hole for them to go up into the top of the window frame, and I've got some brackets that go about here. I'll show you. I'll do it, and I'll show you. So I bought a little blow lamp for two reasons. One, I'm not going to tell you about right now, but the other one is to heat up the solder in these joints. We'll try that now. I don't have a lighter. For the curtain that's going to go across this cab, it's a bit tricky because at the base of this, it's just a piece of tongue and groove. But see underneath it, you've got this, you've got this little recess. So I wanted to get a curtain track that went in there so that the curtain was behind all that wood. Searched the internet for a long time and I found this. Now this curtain track is thin and flimsy but I think, I'm hoping it'll be alright. So you can cut this to any length you want.
really pleased with that. Obviously I haven't hung a curtain from it yet, so I don't know how good it is at taking weight. It's so embarrassing when people see you talking to your phone or your camera. So yeah, really discreet, hidden little curtain track. Really pleased with that. Hello YouTube. So now Luke has sort of the van slowly coming together. Uh, it's my turn to get my hands on it and make it a bit more homey. So the first thing we're going to do is sort out some curtains for the windows. Um, my mum is going to help me make them. I say help me, she'll probably do most of it. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to go pick her up and we're going to go buy some material. So let's go. some material um, and now we need to find all the little hooks and bits and bobs and pieces to actually hang them onto something. So next up is Wilco, see what we can find. So I'm really pleased with the, the, the job that Becca and her mum did on those curtains. The material was a bit of a surprise for me, but she, you know, she knows I like the old VW campers so that material was really quite cool, quite quirky. I don't think anyone else is going to have those, uh, those curtains. And they also stitched into the back, um, it was like a blackout material. What, what was it? It's just a, it's a thick, it's a lining. It's, uh, they call it blackout, but it's cream. Um, but it, it just, because the material of the curtains, not really thin, but if you just had the curtain material, the light would still come in, so the blackout just gives it a bit more darkness. It does. No, that's a good job. So they're real thick, so you can't see through them. So we haven't slept in the van yet, so we we know, we'll find out next week how much light they keep out. But yeah, good job on the curtains. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so what are we doing today? So today is a bit more shopping. 
um, for some other homey bits. So I'm thinking some bedding, some cushions, some throws, a bit of plants, some lighting, like candles, maybe some fairy lights and things, just some little bits and pieces that really make it feel like a home. At the moment, my van is just, it's just wood and it's, it needs the, uh, a feminine touch, shall we say. That's my job. <laughs> um, all right, well, we're gonna go to the range, which is in Worthing, so we'll see you when we get there. Just how girly are you trying to make the van? So we bought loads of stuff. Only it was one ginormous bag, but there's loads of little bits and pieces. There's candles and throws and cushions and pretty little lights and you'll see. We'll go and put it all in the van. Just trying to make the van a little bit cozier for Camp Quirky, which is next weekend. So yeah, the van is not complete by any stretch, but it's it's just trying to make it a bit more homely. So, uh, what should we do first? Uh, is everything under the sofa that needs to be? Yeah, yeah, that's, okay. that's what I've done. Should we do that then? What, well, under the sofa? Rustic. She's even got potpourri. <laughs> got this a lantern. It's like a turkey thing, isn't it? Yeah. So we went to Turkey a few years ago, and we've got a little turkey lamp. So it sort of reminds me, or us. It well, does. It's very similar. We have one in the flat. Candle in there at night. It looked nice.
Okay, so now it is the day before Camp Quirky. I've got the curtains up. Still waiting for this one. This is going to be uh, fitted tomorrow. It just needs a few bits of tweaking, a bit of hemming by Becca's mum. But she's doing like she's doing a great job on these curtains for us. So very grateful to her. We've got all our little pretty lights around. We've got all our flowers and homely little bits. Do you think it looks better in here? Or? I, it does look better now. I've had my hands on it before. It was just a lot of wood. Um, which you've done a great job on, um, but yeah, it just it just needed a few little touches. It, so. it definitely needed it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't. I tried to film without these mega lights on, but it's just too dark. But without these bright lights on, it's really cozy in here with all the little pretty lights. And obviously, we'll have a few candles going at night and stuff. So yeah, it does. It's starting to look quite nice in here. Next job is I need a kitchen. Yeah, need to finish this kitchen off. Need to get a work surface. Cupboards and shelves and all that, all that good stuff. Gonna sign out this video. We're off to Camp Quirky tomorrow, so that'll be the next video. You excited about Camp Quirky? And stayed in the van? No? I'm a little excited. I'm a little apprehensive as well, but we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I said to someone today, um, a friend of mine, I said, uh, let's hope that Becca gets a, a taste for it and she wants to go full time. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to quite make that jump, but if it goes well, you could certainly see me at other meets. And yeah. All right. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.